In this episode of Calibre Class, we're going to learn about 12 Gauge, the King of Shotgun Shells. Hello there, my name is Xander, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're returning, it's very good to see you again. This is where we discuss firearm related content applicable to Canadians. Any information we talk about today, you can find in the description below. Some of the earliest history pertaining to shotgun shells was around the 1860s in Germany. Most early shotgun shells had a brass or a paper case. Many early iterations were mostly used for bird hunting. Their popularity grew fast and they quickly spread around Europe and even made their way to America where they'd be used in increasing numbers during the American Civil War. It's unclear exactly when shotguns made their way to Canada, but it can be presumed it was around the same time. Have you ever wondered why when you're about to get into the car with someone they shout shotgun and they get into the passenger seat? Well that goes back to like way back old when days when there was horse drawn wagons and carriages and the person sitting beside the driver up front would usually carry a shotgun for personal protection. In modern times 12 is the most popular shotgun gauge. It is the most versatile cartridge currently available on the market giving the user substantially wide options for load depending on the application. Typical 12 gauge loads are divided into three categories, birdshot, buckshot and slugs. 12 gauge is typically two and three quarter inches long or three in a three and a half inch variants are also common on the market. Newer on the market are short one and three quarter inch mini shells. And a fun fact about shotgun shells, the length stated on your barrel is the maximum length of shot shell that you can use of the same gauge. So if it says two and three quarter or three inch, it'll accept any 12 gauge shell up to that size. In a future video, we'll do an explainer video on shot shells and how to identify them and tell you exactly everything you need to know about. Birdshot size is normally marked on the box and on the shells. The smallest commonly available size is number 12 shot. It can hold over 2,500 tiny five caliber pellets. Getting a wee bit bigger is the number 7 shot, which can hold about 3 to 400 10 caliber pellets. The biggest birdshot size is not number 1 like you'd imagine. After number 1 comes 4 more with an alphabetical designation. They are B, BB, BBB and T. The next tier up is buckshot. Even though there is also a numbering system with the shot size, buckshot is larger than birdshot. Number 4 birdshot and number 4 buckshot are not the same. The most common options from smallest to largest are 4, 3, 1, aught, double aught and triple aught. In the firearms world, a zero is sometimes pronounced as aught, like 30 aught 6. The close range devastation of buckshot has made a popular choice for hunters, military, police and wherever the laws allow it, personal protection. Slugs are the last category of 12 gauge shot shell that we'll cover today. Unlike bird and buckshot, it's got all their pellets sized by calibre or millimeter. Slugs are listed by weight in grains, just like a pistol or rifle round. They're a solid projectile with a little bit of rifling on the outside to help with stabilisation. As a personal rule, I only shoot birdshot up to about 30 yards, buckshot up to around 60, and you can get a little over 100 with slugs, but that's just what I'm comfortable with. You might like to shoot them further. You can find a hunting application for any 12 gauge loads. Birdshot loads, while vasting in size and options, they're usually used for bird and small game hunting, such as geese, ducks, pheasants and turkeys. Many would argue that 12 gauge is too powerful and the smaller 20 gauge would be a better option. Buckshot loads are used commonly for deer, hog, coyote and a lot more. Slugs are typically reserved for dangerous predators like grizzly bears, mountain lions, but they're also used for deer, elk and moose. If you want to take part in sports and competitions as a shotgun shooter, you're in luck because there are quite a few available to you. Most people will be familiar with clay pigeon, trap or skeet style shooting. Many range have events for this, free gun competitions also you can make use of your shotgun. Generally for all these types of sports it's usually a bird shot that is used, but depending on where you live. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. If you like this video you might also like this one here. And you can leave some comments down below, let me know what you think, things that you don't agree with or agree with, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers, take care now.